Hey you guys, welcome to a new episode of Food and the Single Guy with me, your very own Amaru. Now this episode of Food and the Single Guy is a collaboration video. My friend Debbie from Jamaica reached out to me and she asked me if I wanted to do a collaboration video with her. I told her, well actually I don't do collaboration videos and I explained to her why I don't do collaboration videos. But I told her as I grow older I learn to put things in perspective so I'm gonna make an exception. So here we are today doing a collaboration video. I am going to list Debbie's channels in the description box below the video because she has two channels. Her main channel is her cooking channel and the name of that channel is West Indian Delights. And on the second channel, that is her channel where she does all of her vlogs and all of that stuff. Um, the name of that channel is Jamaican Debbie Debs. I'm gonna link everything in the description box below for your convenience. Now. On this episode of Food and the Single Guy, we are going to cook something that is known in my country as Klarung. In Jamaica and in a lot of um, the Caribbean, it is known as Kalalu. It is a leafy type vegetable and some people compare it to spinach. I don't compare it to spinach because spinach has a completely different texture and taste. But you know, to each his own. So the star of this video is the kalalu. I am going to serve my kalalu with some rice and some butterfish in a creamy, rich tomato gravy. I'm going to list all the ingredients in the information box below the video. So without further ado, let us continue. Okay, you guys. So what I have here is my fresh kalalu. And this is what the leaves look like. And this right here, by the way, is one of the flowers. You don't eat the flowers, all right? So next what we're gonna do, we're simply going to pick the leaves from the stem, just like so. And then we're gonna wash the leaves upon which we're going to cook them. So let me go ahead and do that. And when it's all done, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, guys, I'm almost done picking the vegetables, but I wanted to give you a close up so you could see what I'm talking about. You simply pick it apart just like so. Let me show you again. Can you see? There we go. That's it. And then when you get to the top, you see this little crown? This is a very soft part of the stem. You can just pick it apart in one piece, just like this. All right? See? So this is one piece and the last one here we go and now on to the kalalu i am filling up a clean sink with water just like so and then i am going to wash the kalalu just like that right you're just gonna soak it and gently rinse the leaves and I always rinse mine once because these don't carry a lot of sand unlike other leafy type vegetables from my country these don't carry a lot of sand at all all righty then so next what I'm gonna do I'm gonna remove the kalalu from the water and then I'm gonna put it in a colander to drain. Okay, you guys, so this is my fish. And as you can see, this is frozen. I live in Europe, so it's very difficult for me to find this, to get this uh, fresh. So I went to the store and I got this from the uh, frozen food section. And this is what it's called, it's called butterfish. And it is from my country. This is my country's flag. So every time I put up a video and you see in the upper left corner, you see this flag. It means it is a recipe from my country. So what I'm gonna do is, I am going to open this to show you what it looks like. Now, there are three butterfish in this pack. And of course, I'm gonna use the one that looks best. This one, yes, I think we're gonna use this one. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna allow this to thaw, then 
I'm going to wash it and clean it with some lemon juice or some vinegar, depending on what I have. And then we're gonna season it for preparation. And there is our beautiful fish, you guys. It has been thawed. It is now in a basin of water. I am going to add some vinegar to the water, just like so. And if you've been with me since the beginning, you know that we do this in my country to cut that raw fishy scent of the fish. And we're gonna allow this to sit in this water for anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, you guys, so it's been about 15 minutes. What I'm gonna do now, I am going to rinse this fish. Just like so. And I'm telling you, this is a serious fish. <laughs> okay, you guys, so we're rinsing the fish thoroughly. Here we go. And this fish is related to the snapper family, you guys. I tried to look online for a Latin name, but I couldn't find one. Maybe I didn't look well enough, but they call it butterfish because the flesh is very delicate and when you eat it, it melts in your mouth. So we're gonna set this to one side to drain and then we're gonna season it. Okay, people, we are now going to season the fish with some salt. On both sides, of course. Just like that. We're going to continue with some black pepper. And you want to season thoroughly. Because you know what I always tell you, nobody likes bland food. We're going to continue with some garlic powder. And you want to massage the spices into the fish. So next what we're going to do, we're going to allow the fish to marinate for about 15 minutes. If you so desire, you can allow this to marinate overnight, but that's not what I'm going to do today. All right, so after about 15 minutes, we're going to continue with the cooking. Okay, everybody, we're now going to fry this fish. And in the background, you can hear my cooker hood. So I hope you can hear me all right. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to heat some oil in my nonstick pan. And the reason I'm doing this in my nonstick pan is because I don't want the fish to stick to the bottom of any other pan because I want to present you with a beautiful dish. All right, good. So let us heat a little bit of oil, and I mean just a droplet, just like so. And you simply want to heat the oil a little bit. You don't want it to smoke or anything, all right? This to me is good enough. So now we're gonna add our fish. Now what we're doing right here, you guys, we are simply browning the fish. We're adding some color to the fish because I always tell you my food has to look good, it has to look presentable because we eat with our eyes first. If the food looks good, you're gonna dig in. If the food doesn't look good, you're gonna walk away, okay? And this is what I'm talking about, you guys. Nice and brown. And I told you earlier that this is a very delicate fish. It is already falling apart. So I have to be very careful with it. Okay, guys, in the same pan, we're gonna saute an onion to begin with. We're gonna add some garlic and half of a scotch bonnet pepper. So my onions have taken on some color. I am now going to add my tomatoes. Let's give that a nice stir. And you know me, I love my vegetable stock cubes, so let's add one of those. Now we're gonna add some water to this goodness because we're trying to make a nice tomato gravy. And we're going to allow this to simmer on low heat for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay guys, now let's have a look at our sauce. Oh yes, this is looking good.
So now what we're gonna add is the fish. Ever so gently. And we're gonna coat it with the tomato goodness. Just like that. We're gonna add another droplet of water. Just like so. Then we're gonna cover the pan and allow to steam for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, you guys, and now we're gonna cook the kalaloo. So I've added some oil to my pot. And then I've added my onion which has taken on some color. Next, what I'm gonna add is the garlic. And next, what we're gonna add is the kalaloo. We're gonna give this a nice stir. And a kalaloo doesn't take long to cook, you guys. Anywhere between five to seven minutes is sufficient. Now this is almost done, but in the next clip you will see the final presentation. And now for the final presentation, you guys. There is my rice, steam it away nicely. There is our beautifully cooked butterfish in our tomato gravy, smelling good, looking good. There is our friend Scotchy, oh yeah. And the star of this video, the Klarung or Kalaloo. Honey, I am ready to dig in. And there you have it, you guys. My beautiful kalaloo served with butterfish in a tomato gravy and white rice. Now, allow me to also share with you this picture because I'm sure you're dying to know what the inside of the fish looks like. Honey, let me tell you, this is a very delicate, very soft textured fish. It is something you need to try, all right? Now you guys, kalaloo can be prepared in a lot of different ways. The way I prepared it in this video is as a side dish, but you can also prepare this with some salted beef or some smoked chicken or some dried shrimp or even some smoked fish, all right? I'm gonna show you in another video how to prepare kalaloo in a different way. Don't forget to check out Debbie's collaboration video because she has prepared her kalaloo the way they prepare it in her country, all right? Once again, the links to both her channels will be listed in the information box below the video. Go to her channel, support, subscribe, do whatever you need to do. Show her some mad love, all right? In the meantime, you guys, let me take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for your support because without you, without your views, without your shares, without your comments, without your interaction, there would be no channel. So thank you. For now, I want to say thank you for watching. Happy cooking. Happy eating. Don't add crazy to the craziness. And I will see you when I see you. Have a good one, you guys. Bye.